Welcome back. I'm Adam Carlson from Chip Theory Games. Thank you for joining me. I have with me Game to Pick a Game. I'm here to show you in just a couple of minutes how to play the game. Uh, I have a kind of a prototype version right here, so all the colors and chips are uh, subject to change a little bit. But essentially what we're looking at is the Orc Council version of the game. Um, all four characters I've laid out. Um, each character, or each Orc, in this case, will get three um, bidding chips. So these bidding chips show three different types of uh, numbers. We've got plus two, minus one, and we've got the invert, the plus minus invert. And the back sides of these chips are more of the same. So we have two inverts, two minus ones, and two plus twos, making each chip unique. Um, everybody gets their own work character chip on the back side is the chip key. So here we're looking at the front and the back. We've got the plus two uh, in the invert. We've got the invert minus one and the minus one plus two. So as I said, uh, we have three different chips um, using the sides. Um, and then the fifth chip, we have um, what we call a trait. So the trait is that unique characteristic that your character has. It'll have some sort of ability or some sort of equipment or some sort of something or other that will manipulate the beards to your favor. Um, you can, let's just take a look at some of the traits we have. So essentially, this trait uh, allows you to flip any um, beard. This one allows you to actually discard and then slide a beard over from one nomination to another. We have, oh, we have to cover a beard and play it which is good for stealth plays um, because this game has a little bit of information finding in there and then uh, so this character will help prevent that information. As the chips are played, because we know what chips are which, you can kind of figure out maybe what uh, the characters are bidding to the different um, nominations. Uh, this one is, oh, discard to suspend this chip to play last in the next round. So that's the other thing is it's very important to um, to try and position yourself to go last in this game because you have the most information as you're the last chip to play. Um, but let me just go ahead and uh, let's do a little quick sample here. Um, I'm going to take one of the orcs away. Let's play a three, three game sample. Um, for these three, there's three different players. I'm going to just play with all three of them kind of walk you through how to play. So, the, the red orc will announce, you know, we can't come to a, we can't come, we can't decide uh, which game we want to play. So we're going to, I'm going to nominate a game. And he is going to nominate Gloomhaven for the sake of this example. Yellow is going to say, you know what, um, you know what, I won't nominate. I'm going to wait and see what else gets nominated and then yellow will have a chance to boost the round at the end of the game, boost the nomination. So blue will of course want to play Oz Flux again. <laughs> but again, this is why we're playing the game so that we can come to a conclusion to pick one game to play and yellow was indifferent from the beginning. So now we have two nominations on the table between three players and we're just going to begin um, the conflict resolution. Um, because blue nominated last, blue will now play the first um, bid. So with the character chip on top covering the bid, blue is going to secretly try and play so this chip here, the plus one and an invert. If I place this down next to Oz Flux, What's important to know here is there's two things that are going on right now. The bottom side is the actual vote that's being contributed to this nomination. So now we're at a plus one. The top side, we'll talk about that in a minute at the end of the round. So we're going backwards. Um, so yellow will go. Yellow, while yellow has not openly voiced a preference between the two, yellow actually would prefer to play gloom. All right, so yellow is going to say, well, I know you would probably vote your own. So I'm going to place, I'm going to do an invert. I'm going to find my invert here. 
I'm going to use the one with the plus two on the other side. And I'm going to place the plus two face up and the invert face down. So what's happening now is, number one, the information that you've learned is the bottom side of this chip is either a minus one or an invert. Um, nobody really knows. Um, and we think that this is the plus two because blue is probably going to upvote its own game. But again, we're making an assumption here. Um, so right now, what's really going on is we have a negative 2 um, over here. Red will go, red is going to try and be cute and do a minus 1 face down with the invert. And red is going to pretend to upvote its own and see if they can get um, another orc to maybe add another negative or invert it to the positive, which is... Uh, more of a bluff play. So at the end of the round, the first bidding round, we take a look at the facing up totals. We have a zero and we have negative two is facing up. So now the uh, nominee, the, the character who picked the highest value nomination will start this next round. So red is going to Probably throw up a, a negative one and throw it over there. Now blue is up. Blue is going to place an invert over here, thinking that red is doing the plus one. And then yellow will play. Yellow is going to throw a negative one um, here, because again, yellow wants to play blue. All right. So that was the end of that round. Again, we're looking at the top most. We've got. 6, negative 6 over here, and positive 1. So again, red will have to open first. Now red has the flip any played bid, the deserter. So we'll discard the deserter and flip the blue. So now all of a sudden, we're trying to figure out what, what the chips are. Not sure. Um, the blue is going to play an infiltrate. And the infiltrate is a cover chip. We've got a minus one plus two on this chip. Blue is going to cover and place this here with the plus two face down and try and boost that number. All of a sudden, we're not really sure what blue is doing here, but we can see the minus one and we can see the plus two, maybe try and figure out some information on what that last chip is. That was the last chip for blue. Yellow was up. So yellow. Uh, it says discard to move the selected bid from one location to another. We're going to just slide that over there. Yellow wants, yellow thinks it's a, a plus two on the underside. And so now that was the end of that round. Again, so this one, so now this is a plus eight currently. We'll go first, but it's out of chips. So that's the, um, the other thing is some of the traits require you to discard or it's a two chip play. Um, so while that's advantageous and a big play, we're also going to sit, around, sit out on the last round. So after blue goes or passes, we've got yellow, which will place that, and red will put another plus two there. So now the bidding rounds, the four bidding rounds are over. What happens is, we'll take that off. What happens is now we turn over all of these chips to have the bottom side face up. And then we tally them up. Alright? So we always add up the uh, the minus one plus two is first. So we've got plus two plus two minus one. So this is plus three. And then we invert it. So now it's minus three. Over here we have minus one minus one minus one inverted to a plus three and then inverted back to a minus three. <laughs> so essentially what's happened here is a tie, um, which can happen. Um, however, going back to the beginning of the game, um, this guy chose not to nominate a game. And because he did that, he has the ability to boost a game at the end. So all the players that did not choose a nomination get to add plus two to the final value of 
any of the nominations that are on the table. And so this guy is going to boost Gloom by plus two, and now making the finished value of the game negative one, as opposed to negative three. So Gloom will win. So now we'll clean up the game. The game's over, and everybody is going to play a game of Gloom. Thank you for joining me. I'm Adam Carlson, and we'll see you on the Kickstarter. Bye.